this video is about why women like gifts and why you should give gifts. Women like gifts. Actually, I don't know why they do it. They just do it because they feel your affection. I know why. They feel your affection and love. And if you give your wife or your girlfriend 12 roses, you think, okay, I get 12 points for that. But she thinks, no, that's 12 roses. That equals one point. So you're keeping, you know, you're keeping score of all the good things you do, and she's keeping score of all the good things you do. So your scorekeeping is different. And sometimes when she doesn't appreciate or say, you never do this or that, you're thinking, what do you mean? I gave you 12. And she, but to her, it's like, well, that was only once in the last month. Whereas if you would have given one flower every few days, if you give her a dozen roses, you get 12 points instead of one point. And this even extends up to very big gifts, expensive gifts. It's just one point. And you're thinking, no, but I spent a thousand dollars. It's got to be more than one point. Sorry, it's one point. So you have to know how they keep score. But there is a way to get more than one point. You're thinking, what, a buyer a house? No. Maybe you get a few extra points for a few days, but that's not the best way. But when your wife is saying, you know, I had a really hard day because my coworker was like, she wouldn't listen to me and she was bossing me around. And you say, oh, that must have been really hard. How did you go through it? You get so many points for listening and empathizing. That's where you make the most points. So you bring a flower, ding, one point. Next day, ding, one point. Buy a new Mercedes Benz, ding, one point. Gold earrings, ding, one point. And you say, oh, you're listening. Oh, that must have been so hard. Ding, 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 ding. So now you know how to chalk up your points with your wife. And although this is funny, it's true. My wife and I did a, a marriage workshop. And one of the things we do at the workshop is we get the men together, we get the women together. And the men talk about what they need from their wives and the women talk about what they need for their husbands. And then we share it. So the whole group of women shares to the group of men, the group of men shares to the group of women. And my wife said the main thing the women came up with was the emotional support. They don't get it from their husbands. So men are not all naturally wired to give emotional support. And in extended families, they didn't have to because she got support from her aunts and grandmother and cousins and sisters because you had this big family. And now it's just one guy with one woman, and he has to be the whole support system for, for what she would get from a whole family. That's not an easy job, especially men aren't so naturally, oh, that's so bad, I, you must feel horrible. Men are just going to, how do we solve this? You know, we got to talk to your boss. Give me his number, I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to that coworker. You know? So it's a challenge for men, but you have to understand the point system so then you can calculate where you can get the most points. Points are important because they say in a marriage, points are like a bank account. The more money you put in the bank, which means the more positive action, the better marriage. And every time you do something bad, every time you fight, that's a withdrawal. And it takes five deposits to neutralize one withdrawal. That's the bad news. Sorry to deliver the bad news, guys, but you make one mistake, say one wrong thing, you're going to have to bring five roses for five days to make up for that one stupid thing you said. So be careful. Now, those of you who are not married are listening to this and thinking, oh, I didn't know this. Well, now you know. So maybe you have, maybe you're not ready to get married. Maybe you have second thoughts on being married. Maybe you have to prepare yourself. But it's important to know what you're getting into before you get into it so it's not such a big surprise and you're well prepared for it.